um, four stories, digital stories, digital stories in a nutshell are um, a sequence of photographs um, with underlying narration um, which can tell a story or if you can think about it from an educational point of view really good for um, describing to a student a sequence of tasks and why you're doing them so um, the software of choice is Photo Story 3 you can go to um, Google and type in Photo Story 3 and download it and install it onto Windows uh, very simple interface as you can see here. To get started you simply go and import the pictures. Now uh, planning is of the essence beforehand. Um, map out a sequence, uh, take the photographs in the workshop, in the kitchen for the context, um, create your script and as you can see here I've actually um, got a series of photographs on actually baking pastry. So I'll just bring those in and uh, Photoshop will arrange them um, in sequence and uh, you can go or photo story that is will arrange them in sequence you can go in and you can drag these photographs along the timeline here I'm just going to bring that photograph to the front you might also like to go in and use these uh, photo editing tools for example to remove red eye or rotate a photograph or crop a photograph but I like these photographs and I'm ready to move on to the next stage which is adding text so uh, I'm going to give a title to my digital story, um, creating shoe pastry, and um, oops, and like a word processor, you can go in and you can edit this text. Uh, I'm going to go in and change the color to white, and make it bold, stands out a bit better and um, once you've done you can do the similar you can put titles with the rest of the photographs once you're done you're ready to move on to the next stage which is um, putting a narrative over the photograph okay so I'm going to record uh, an audio overview to the slideshow I simply click on the red button Hello and today we're going to be looking at how to create a shoe pastry. I'm going to take you through the various steps with pictures of the different techniques and ingredients um, to allow you to create your own shoe pastry. When you're done you just click on stop and you can uh, preview your um, audio. So should be able to hear that audio coming through and I'm quite happy with that so I'll just close that down. Uh, whenever it gets on to the, the specific stuff um, I've actually prepared notes to jog my memory so I can just paste them in there and once again hit click record. The ingredients for shoe pastry are simply plain flour, eggs, butter, beaten egg, salt in a teaspoon and a jug of water. And when you're done, um, you can uh, move on to the next photograph. You even might like want to focus in on a specific part of the um, photo. So if I want to fo focus in on the um, eggs and butter, for example, I can click on Customize Motion. And uh, you'll see the actual start position um, for the photograph. I actually want it to start um, on a f full picture. And I want it to end on the uh, flour, eggs and butter um, and then just save that and I can repeat that similar process um, adding the audio, uh, customizing the motion for all the photographs. Um, this next option allows you to put some background music. I'm not going to put any background music on um, my um, story because um, uh, it's more instructive. Perhaps for a narrative, uh, um, background music would be more suitable, but you can play around with that and see what suits you. Um, but I will save my project now because I've put a lot of work into it. I don't want to lose that. And this means that I can actually come back later and add more photographs and tweak it a wee bit more if I so wish. So I'll just save that in the photo story format WP3 and um, once I'm done I 
you can move on to the next stage. Uh, this is where we actually export it um, as a Windows Media Player file. Um, now I, I'm going to export it from my computer and it's going to be 640 by 480. Um, similarly I could export it for a um, pocket PC and it would make it uh, 320 by 240 so you can um, use PhotoStory to export to all the different file formats you might want your students to be watching the video in the workshop or in the classroom using their mobile phone and let's still take the video down to 160 by 120 but I'm going to choose um, for um, uh, the computer and um, I just go next and it's going to compress and uh, change the WP3 photo story format into the Windows Media Player and when that's done I'll have my own movie on how to prepare shoe pastry so that will take a moment And now I can actually go and view um, my uh, masterpiece in uh, Windows Media Player or upload it to my own video blog. Cheers.